Spidey bells, Spidey bells, swinging through Midtown. Da, da, da. Something else about Spidey bells. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Quick to Christmas <laughs> album. <laughs> Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. Not drawing conclusions. <laughs> I'm Jessica. I'm Josh. And uh, today we are reviewing Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. The Spider-Verse. Yeah, and we actually saw this movie a while ago. We're just finally getting around to reviewing it. The holidays are busy. Yeah, especially when you got a bunch of kids. Yep. It's been a crazy time. Um, and Josh has had some other things that he's been working on art-wise. So anyway, Josh, what did you think of this movie? I thought this movie was great. Uh, top to bottom, I love the story, I love the voice acting. The animation was awesome. It was so cool because it's it a very unique take on yeah. digital animation. And they incorporate a lot of like the old style comic book styling. Like if you read old comic books, you'd see like some, um, you'd see like the dots and the acetone yeah. that they'd use to for shading and things like that. Um, and, you know, like old print would, you know, they'd spot dye the, the paper in spots. And they incorporate a lot of these things and some of the, uh, the word bubbles and dialogue, things like that, they'd used occasionally, like for a, a really good gag or, you know, well time joke. And it was right. really good. Um, this might be my favorite Spider Man movie. I mean, out of any of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like this movie. It was really well done. Yeah. How about you? I love this movie too. I thought it was great. I'm looking forward to seeing it again, actually. Yeah. I would love to see it a second time in the theater. I thought visually it was gorgeous. I agree. The animation was absolutely spectacular. Spectacular, it... spectacular, spectacular. <laughs> anyway. Yes, I was thinking that same same song. Um, I thought, yeah, visually the animation was great. I loved, like you said, all the the callbacks you know to comics and the mm -hmm. old comics and and that they were um so true to that throughout the whole entire movie and yeah. there were times when you they you know showed scenes and panels and things like that you know it was it was really cool the way that they did it it was it and the thing i liked about it also sorry to jump in that's okay i liked it didn't look cheesy like there's other shows oh, that yeah. have tried to do things like this and it just it doesn't work it really worked in this yeah, the animation in this I felt like was like almost a breakthrough, really, the way that they animated it. And there were some times when it was just absolutely gorgeous, which you could see from the trailers. Yeah. That there were some times that the visuals were just like breathtaking in their beauty. And so I thought it was really well done from a visual standpoint. But I also really enjoyed the story, like you were saying. I really, really, really enjoyed the voice acting. I thought... Um, Shamik Moore, I'm not familiar with his work at mm -hmm. all, but his um, voice acting for Milo Morales I thought was excellent. I Miles thought, Morales, yeah. Miles Morales, what did I say? Milo. Milo. <laughs> My, Miles Morales, yeah, sorry. I do know his name. Miles Morales I thought was great. Yeah. I thought that this really captured the spirit to me of Spider-Man and kind of who Spider-Man is and the kinds of... Um, you know, the personality of Spider-Man and everything. I just thought that was really great. Um, and the story was really interesting, you uh -huh. know. It was um, interesting. It was... It was really well done. It, it was really... It was a cohesive plot. It was um, emotional. It was, you know, it was engaging from an emotional standpoint. And it was just... Um, and it was a lot of fun. You know, it there was. was a lot of humor. They brought that humor that you expect from Spider-Man into it, you know. Yeah. Which I really appreciate. I think a lot of the movies prior to this one, the live action ones, kind of missing a little bit of the Peter Parker's humor. Yeah. The one that, that did the best job besides this, I felt like, was the new Tom Holland, Spider-Man yeah. Homecoming. Homecoming. Yeah. Well, just his portrayal in general of Spider-Man. Right. Think, works. Yeah. And, you know, whereas, the, like, and the Sam Raimi ones were fun, but it didn't quite capture the level of humor and the kind of humor that right. you come to associate with Spider-Man. And, of course, the Andrew Garfield ones, they took in a totally, like... Different direction. Different direction. A little darker and yeah. more mopey and stuff. So, um, <laughs> but this one really... Mopey Parker. Yeah. <laughs> this one really captured that fun spirit of Spider-Man. So was there anything that you did not like about this movie? I didn't like that it ended. <laughs> that there was an ending. I kid. No, there was nothing about this movie I didn't like. I I like this movie top to bottom. Um, I had a great time. We, just, we saw it with our children. They all loved it. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I, I can't think of anything I, I didn't like about the show. I thought it was really cool. <laughs> the only thing I didn't like about it was that it was a little hard to hear because of the setting in which we saw it. There were... Oh, uh, well, it's not a fault you with know, the but film. But it was not a fault with the film. So, yeah, that's what I'm just saying about the experience. So oh. that's why one of the reasons I'm anxious to see it again right. is because it was really loud in the theater when we saw it and um, hard to hear it sometimes. Uh, but I I loved it. I, I have no complaints about nope. this movie at all whatsoever. This might be one of my favorite animated sh uh, stories of the year. Yeah, it was um, really good. One of my favorite movies yeah. of the year. It was just a lot of fun. It, it was, was a lot of fun to watch. Um, I was going to say something and I completely forgot. Oh, uh, wash wag. Wash wag. Okay, so anything else? What else? What rating would you give this movie? Um, oh, wait. I sorry, remember what I was going to say. Uh, the post credit scene oh, yes. is phenomenal. Yeah, you have to yeah, stick around. Stay for the post credit scene. <laughs> It's great. You absolutely have to stick around for the post credit scene. It's yeah, awesome. Really good. All right. Now what rating would you give this movie? I give this five out of five. Yeah. You know, five web slingers out of five. <laughs> web swingers, whatever. Web shooters. There we go. Five web shooters out of five. This movie was awesome. Yeah. I recommend this to anybody. Good for the family. Good for the person who's a fan of Spider-Man. Even a casual fan. Yeah. Someone who likes a movie. I think this would work great. Right. Good movie. Yeah. Oh, and I agree. I think it was an excellent film. And before um, we end, though, I do have to say Nick Cage, Nicholas Cage <laughs> yeah, as yeah. Spider-Man Noir, Noir yeah. was awesome. So I, I couldn't <laughs> let it end without saying that. And just the way that they wrote Spider-Man Noir was one of my yeah. favorite parts of the movie. The way they wrote all the Spider-Man uh, Spider characters, spider yeah. characters, I guess, um, from their various universes was really spot on it, it was, was great it was really, really good stuff i mean just nothing felt forced nothing felt just oh we gotta stick this in there and it's just yeah everything came together pretty organically and it's a great show yeah so highly recommend it go check it out in the theater definitely worth seeing in the theater because of the visuals you know definitely worth seeing in the theater so josh tell me about this picture that you did of miles not milo <laughs> miles morales <laughs> well um, I wanted to catch, like, his athleticism and acrobatics, like, that he displays in the movie, so he's, you know, kind of doing a more typical Spider-Man pose they use in the comic books. I used pen and ink and watercolor on a pretty smooth watercolor paper, uh, board, and, uh, because in the old days they used to use, um, these similar materials to do their comic books. They'd watercolor paint the uh, panels, and you know, I was like doing that myself, and I had a good time doing this. I like using watercolor. I think you know, if you get really good at it, you get some really nice smooth transitions and flat tones, and it looks really cool. Plus, he's wearing Air Jordans, and I always loved those kind of shoes. I remember back in the day when I used to have some of those. So. <laughs> <laughs> Original ones. Back in my day, I had some day, Air Jordans. I had sweet <laughs> Jordan kicks. Anyways. So. All right. Well, I think it's a great picture. It turned out great. It's really yep. fun. I like the the pose and the colors and everything. It's really well done. Yep. Um, okay, so that is it for this episode of Drawing Conclusions. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, don't forget to like and comment and share and subscribe. Also, check us out on Patreon where we do more in-depth, uh, spoiler-filled reviews. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty minimal fee just to check out our um, podcasts, and it has a pay scale there for anything else you might be interested in. Yeah, and uh, we will be back soon with our thoughts on what our favorite movies and least favorite movies of this year were. So, thanks! <laughs> <laughs>